I found a great CSS library um, called Animate CSS. Now, Webflow, of course, has its own brilliant uh, animation uh, features and, and so forth. But there's a benefit to using a CSS library over the Webflow, um, the Webflow Animate feature. First of all, CSS is, is a lot smoother and a lot faster than, than JavaScript animations. Um, and using a library like Animate CSS allows us to create quick animations that look great and they have very little overhead of the performance of the website. Animate.style is the is the URL, and I'll leave a link in the description. But what you can see is you've got some you've got some default animations here that you know just look fun, and you can you can do lots of things with them. Um, so the way we do it is, of course, we include the CDN link to the library in our in our head, and we can do that now. And then if we scroll down, we can see that we've got a bunch of uh, classes here that we can use. So let's just try this first one. And we will add it to here. So what are those classes? So we've got animate, animated, animate, animate, bounce. Let's just copy those. Animate, animated. And then animate, bounce. Great. So if we publish those and have a look, we should see it bounce. There it is. The other thing that we can do is if you're interested in playing with the CSS, then, then there's, there's ways of, if you look at this um, documentation, then you can have a take a look. But there are also some utility classes that we can help um, affect the, the speed and the delay and various things like that. So if I add this delay, um, property. Publish that. So we should wait two seconds and then it will just bounce. There it is. Take a look at some of the um, CSS libraries that are out there that could potentially help you out. Um, take a look at obviously animate.css and there we go. That's it. That's all I've got to say actually. I don't really have an outro for that.